go to file then new and this will give you a new stage here you see a lot of different types of action scripts that you can choose from as well as mobile device that you can go and put your flash on to your mobile device as well um, if you get into the action script you definitely can make any kind of flash that you would like to have um, as far as any make it do what you would like to, it to do that's basically programming with action script here I'm going to show you that you can also choose templates which you can make banners um, buttons, skyscrapers, all kinds of things with Flash in the advertising category. So Flash is totally amazing. It has unlimited, well it is limited, but let's say to compare to most, it's very, very unlimited. Now, here we go. Here's the timeline. This is where you lay down your um, layers as well as your frames, as you can see. And now we're going to go to where you can, all the menu bar is up here. File, edit, view, insert, modify. File, you see all types of things, import, export, publish. All, you know, that's the section where you do that. Editing, of course, redo, undo, timeline is there, as well as remove frames, copy frames. And then insert, you can insert different things that you would like, including motion tween, tween with shape tween, classic tween, and here's the modify section where you have the actual timeline and the transform. Transform where you can basically stretch, shape, rotate. Here you go with the text. And here the text shows you the different samples of what the text will look like. That's, you know, sizes, style, whichever you would like to do. You can do that as well. Line, left, right. Here are the, com here's the command section right here and then the control section where you play rewind as well as test movie test movie and test scene you can go and play that as well and looping if you want like for it to loop back you can program to do that here's debug windows set up your tools different types of things you would like to have on your interface that you would like to go and use that's under windows library you know where you store a lot of your contents in the library here's the help section and of course, you know the help section in order to get goods help and search for it, you have to be online for that. Now here's the color section and different types of colors you can choose and so forth. The scratch, different types of colors. As you can see, that dropper right there, just pick a color. I like the dropper because you can also move the dropper if you're online and you need a different color. You can have that dropper and pick the color from being something online, a picture online. Now here's transformation, alignment, info. Um, and then down here are your basic tools where you have your pointer, your um, text, your 3D, your shape tool, the lines, that's your text tool. If you click on text, as you see on the, your far right, your far right and the left of the screen, you see all the different texts that you can go and the properties of the text shows up. Where you can go and ch change the different family, the style, the boldness, the size, you know, move the arrow left to right. Or well, you can actually click in there and type in your size if you would like to do that. So, and then type in whatever you like, just hit return. And then here you see the color. You can change the color of your text right here. You see that dropper popping up. And then you can see, change the blue. And on the side you see it's blue, where the bucket's at. I'm going to change it back to white. And now you have the white that's there where the bucket is at. And so forth. Um, you have all kinds of different things here you know, underneath the text property. 
that you can choose margin, spacing, so forth. And now we're going to go to the pointer, the selector, and here is the stage area. That is the stage. The stage color is right here. And the property of the stage, the size, you can change as well. You can edit that size under the property of the stage. You can edit the um, actual, and here you can also edit the background again, change the background of the stage. Um, if you would like, um, change it to black. And there you go. And then you see the property of the stage right there. Now you can change the size of it if you would like. I'm going to change the background color back to white. And I'm going to change the size to make it extremely large. I like making it large because whenever you do your animation, you can always make it smaller and then you don't lose out in the pixels. You know, so I like making it large better because then you don't distort. Here you can zoom in and zoom out on the stage. As you see right here, you can go up and down, scroll up and down so you can see, you know, your whole part of your stage and so forth. Now here's the timeline, the layer on the timeline where you have layer one. Now here goes a line right there, um, pencil, square, and then you can change the outline of the square color. I'm going to choose green for the inner part. I'm going to draw a rectangle rather, uh, well, kind of like a square. And now that's on the first line. As you can see, it fills up gray with a black dot when you go and enter something on that layer. Now I'm going to go and erase it, and you'll see that it's empty. Clear, go to Edit Clear, and you see how it's empty. There's no gray, there's no black dot. That means there's nothing on that layer. That's what that means. I'm going to undo Delete, put that green right back onto the layer. Now I'm going to click another layer, the second layer. I'm going to, first layer is the background. I'm going to type it in there. You just double click that layer and then type in what you would like to call it. The second layer is going to be the circle. So I'm going to lock the first layer so then this way when I work with the second layer that's on top of it, then it won't interfere and move around the um, first layer. And that's what you have to do is lock it. Click on the, the um, actual shape. I'm going to do circle now. The outline is black, the inner part is red, and there goes my circle. And that's on layer two. I'm not going to name layer two. I'm just going to leave it. Now, what you can do, you see layer two is on top of layer one. Now you see when I move it, you click, drag down behind layer one. When I move it, then you see that layer two is behind layer one, as you see right here. Now what I'm going to do is move layer two back on top of layer one. I'm going to lock them both so that they both won't be tampered with. Well, I'm going to unlock the circle because I need to do something else with that circle. What I'm going to do now is basically kind of you have all these different things you can do with it. Like I said, text, line, even three-dimensional. You can turn it around and so forth, which is in our advanced class. And here's the bucket and the dropper, eraser, pan, and then zoom. There's another way that you can zoom. You can zoom in or zoom out by using this um, tool right here and making sure that you select the plus magnifying glass. Now I'm going to select that's plus. Now here's minus and that's going to zoom back to make it out so it can be smaller. Now I'm going to use the selector and with the bucket I'm going to do something different. Change the bucket color to blue. So I'm going to change this red to blue. And that's how you do that. So in our beginner courses, of course, we'll be going step by step and walking you through it and having you guys be able to do it yourself. But I'm just going through it pretty quickly just to show you an example of what our courses look like. We have beginners, intermediate, advanced courses in Flash, Final Cut Pro 10, Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, as well as video game development, video editing classes, claymation, 2D and 3D animation, modeling, rigging, visual effects, motion graphics, all kinds of classes at affordable prices. We would like for everybody to be able to afford to further their career or just have fun. So welcome to YibbityTV.com. Have fun! <laughs>